Hello again. All change with the weather over the next 24 hours or so. It's turning a lot drier, thankfully, after a very wet month, but it's also turning a lot colder. And uh, yes, a widespread return of frosts over the coming nights and uh, it could be quite icy out there through the night and first thing in the morning. Turning colder because cold air is arriving behind this weather front, tied into an area of low pressure. The winds coming down from the north, bringing that colder air, but also bringing with it some sunshine. The rain, though, first of all, has to clear away, and that'll be uh, fairly slow to clear away from southern areas through the evening and uh, overnight. As it clears and we see the uh, temperatures dropping away, well, that's when it could turn really quite icy, especially over parts of the Midlands, northern England, north Wales and East Anglia. So there is a yellow ice warning in force. Temperatures will be falling down to freezing or below in rural spots, well below in southwest Scotland in the countryside here, minus five or minus six. But these are the values in towns and cities holding up above freezing in the south because there'll be that cloud around and still a little bit of showery rain on the south coast early on on Friday. And that uh, ice warning still in effect through the morning rush hour. A few showers will come into eastern England and across northeast Scotland, although not as many here as on Thursday. Bit of snow still over the tops of the hills, but most of the showers at lower levels will be of rain. Into Friday then, and it's basically dry and sunny. We'll keep a lot of cloud across the southwest, perhaps, but elsewhere, some sparkling blue skies. Apart from those showers in the east, it's generally uh, sunny skies pretty much all the way, but it won't be warm. Temperatures sin still in single figures after that frosty old start. Probably eight or nine the high in the southwest, but here we won't have quite so much sunshine around. On Friday evening, again, the potential for things to turn icy is very quickly. Look at the map turning blue. It will turn frosty once more through Friday evening. Could also turn misty and murky, some low cloud and even a few fog patches thickening up through the early hours of Saturday morning across the heart of England, parts of East Wales. Notice in the southwest, though, more clouds spilling in here and the breeze picking up. That'll keep the temperatures up, whereas elsewhere it will be frosty once more. That clouds is uh, from this weather front, which is also going to bring some outbreaks of rain. Just see how this low scoots into the southwest. High pressure, though, holds on and the low is forced to the south. But that weather front just bumps into the far southwest. So Devon and Cornwall, particularly southern parts of those counties, with the winds coming in, from the channel, going to see some pretty heavy rain for a time on Saturday. Some question marks about how far north and uh, how far east it gets. Perhaps a little bit of drizzly rain into the south of Wales, but for the bulk of England and Wales, it should be a dry day. But that mist and fog, where it forms, well, it could be quite stubborn, could last most of the day. Scotland and Northern Ireland, generally dry and bright here with some sunshine, but uh, it won't be warm. Again, temperatures really struggling. And if the fog sticks, we're going to struggle to get much of a freezing. Most places uh, well down into single figures. We may reach double digits in the southwest, but of course, we won't feel all that warm because here it's going to be cloudy with a strong wind and outbreaks of rain. But the southwest looks drier on Sunday. In most places, again, looking dry and bright, but it's staying cold with a frost to start the day. Keep up to date with all the very latest from the Met Office by following us on social media.